This is our All About Me Tic Tac Toy Book by Addie and Maya. We have designed this Tic Tac Toy All About Me book to be an interactive book for you at home to learn about us, to learn about Addie and Maya, and to fill out all sorts of fun information about you in the process. So parents, if you are wondering where you can get our All About Me book, you can go to Amazon to purchase this book. invention I made in the toy lab. I call it the ultimate makeover bag. Show us what's inside, Maya. My pleasure. Wow. Yeah, it's makeup disguised as art supplies. Wow, that's so clever, Maya. And it can use a special notebook to make eyeshadows and lip glosses and all sorts of fun makeup. Yeah, and it looks like there's all sorts of fun mixing materials on it, too. Yeah, that's what all this stuff is for. That's super cool, Maya. But where's the toy scientist anyway? I've been dying to meet her. I don't know, she's usually always here when we get here. This is the Toy Master speaking. The Toy Master? Who is that? The Toy Scientist is in a sticky situation. In order to rescue her, you must follow my directions carefully. Oh no, we have to rescue her. What do we need to do, Toy Master? You must follow a series of clues that will lead you to the toys. Once you have gathered all the toys that I want, you will have the opportunity to rescue the toy scientist. Okay, girls, we're all smart. And the toy scientist has trained as well. You're right, we can do this, girls. Toy Master, what's our first clue? You'll have to find your first clue. Look for an object that is in the toy lab, but that can also be found in toy school. You're on your own now. So we can find our clue in something that's here in the toy lab. Yeah, but this object could also be found in toy school. I don't get it, what is he talking about? I know, the whiteboard. We have a whiteboard in here, but there are also whiteboards in toy school. Yeah. Where is it, where is it? I don't see anything. I don't see anything on the back either. What about the marker container down here? Nothing here either. Okay, what else would we also use in toy school? Maybe the music player. I don't see anything here. There's no books in school. No, I don't see anything. What about the microscope, guys? Nothing in here. I've got it, girls. The periodic table poster. Oh my gosh, you could be right, Addie. We learned about the periodic table in our toy science class. Okay, but I don't see any clues on the poster. Let's get it down and see if there's something on the back. Come on, girls, let's get it. Ugh. Whoa! Uh, one, two, three. I don't, I don't see, see anything. anything. What else in here would we find in Toy School? Take that toy fans, if you see anything, let us know in the comments down below. We need help! Maybe there's a clue under the rugs. There's rugs in Toy School. Great, Great idea! Nothing here. Let's try the other one. Nothing here either. What about the lockers? There's lockers at lots of schools and at Toy School. Yeah! yeah! Is it in here? It's empty. Let's try the middle one. Nothing. Oh, I see there's a bag in here. What's inside? Oh, it's a There's shinies. And they have reversible sequins. I've got Polly Pig and Lady Lamb. Check out our little narwhal. And here's Oliver Owl. I've got Delilah Dog and Maggie Unicorn. And these reversible sequins are the best. These toys are awesome, but how does it help us find the toy scientist? I don't know, I thought we'd find a clue with the toys. Toy Master, can you hear us? Where's our next clue? I think he's gone. Is there anything else in the bag, girls? OMG, I didn't see this earlier, but there's a piece of paper in here. It looks like some sort of map. 
Yeah, look, this is our town. There's a toy lab and here's toy school. Oh, there's a toy hotel and the toy doctor's office. What's this big X for? I bet the toy scientist is there. You're probably right. If we can find this place, I bet we can help rescue the toy scientist from the sticky situation. Okay, girls, let's bring the map and the toys with us. The toy master mentioned that we had to gather all the toys he wanted. Okay, girls, stuff them in here. I got the map. Let's go, guys. Well, according to the map, the X should be right over this way. And it's because the Toys R Us is over there and the Crazy Car Store is over there. Yeah, guys, it looks like we're going the right way, but let's hurry. Toy scientist! Where are you? Where are you? Toy scientist! What's this? Pirates only. No trespassing, all others will walk the plank. Wow, where are we? And how have we never come across this place before? Well, let's go look for a clue. Toy scientist girls. But maybe there's a clue at least here somewhere. Yeah, let's look around, girls. No clue up here. I don't see anything in here. The bell didn't do anything. Hmm. I don't see anything here. I think I found something, girls. Is this a treasure chest? It sure is. But it looks like it's locked. There's got to be a key somewhere, you guys. Let's start looking, guys. Hey, what's that over there? It could be a key. Let's go check it out. It's the keys, guys. Perfect. Let's get back to the clubhouse, you guys. Girls, let's see if this works. It worked, it worked! Let's see what's inside. <gasps> They're so sparkly! Like real treasures! They're Mojmo! I can't wait to see what's inside. There's two inside. I'm gonna get these open. Look how adorable they are. Oh, I love the starfish one. And look at the two I got. And I love how squishy they are. Squish, squish. Aw, oh, look what I got. This one is purple and a blue. The other one's so glittery. That must be from the Glitter Gang, Maya. And look what was in my second package, girls. Aw, uh -huh. simply adorable. Okay, girls, so we got some good toys here, but we still don't know where the toy scientist is or how to rescue her. Is there a clue on the bottom of the treasure chest, maybe? I don't see anything besides our mode mode. Wait a minute, let me see that. This looks like it could be a false bottom here. <gasps> it is! This must be a clue! What does it say, Avery? Let me see. Only the finest LOL Shopkins and Hashimal sides are whipped up here. Hurry to find a clue. What does that mean? Where can we find LOLs? Shopkins and Hatchimals. Tons of places, Toys School, Toys R Us, and our homes. Yeah, but what does that mean when it says they're whipped up? I don't know, do you think it's leading us back to the toy lab? 
We just came from there though. And notice how it says LOLs, Shopkins, and Hatchimals sides. That word has to be important. Okay, Tic Tac Toy fans, we need your help again. If you know where we can find our next clue, type it down in the comment section below. This is a tough one. Let me read that one more time. Only the finest LOL Shopkins and Hatchimals sides are whipped up in here. Hurry to find the next clue. Wait, I think I know, girls. Who whips up the best toy side dishes in his kitchen? Chef Pierre! Off to the toy hotel, girls. Yes, this is Lucy from the Toy Hotel, and we have a serious emergency. Chef Pierre has been locked out of his kitchen. Miss Lucy, Miss Lucy, Miss Lucy. Yes, Chef Pierre tried to go into his kitchen this morning because he needs to fulfill some room service orders, but there's some new high-tech lock on it. <gasps> yeah, none of us know how to get it opened. Did you hear that? It looks like we came to the right place, girls. Let's go check out this lock on the door. Yeah, maybe we can crack the code and get to the kitchen. I bet there's a clue inside somewhere. Or maybe even the toy scientist. Come on, girls. Okay, well, please come as quickly as you can. There's room service orders for the Shopkins suite, the Fingerling suite, and the Hatchimal suite that all need to be fulfilled. Wow. wow! This is definitely the craziest lock I've ever seen. Wait a minute, I think I've seen this before. You have. It's a biometric hand scanner. It's super high tech. Well, great, get it to work then. Well, it scans your hands and your fingerprints. So if you don't have the right prints, it won't unlock the door. Well, it's worth a shot, girls. Oh, uh, uh, my prints didn't work. Step out of the way, let me give it a try. Uh, Mine didn't work either. Well, we can only hope that it's programmed to recognize your prince, Avery. Go ahead and give it a try. Here I go. I think it worked. Open the door. It worked! All right, we're in the kitchen now. No sign of the toy scientist, though. Well, if the toy scientist isn't here, there at least has to be a clue. And maybe that'll help us get closer to finding her. Okay, well, there's a gazillion places a clue could be in a kitchen. You know what, you're probably right. Okay, Tic Tac Toy fans, where should we look for the clue? Let us know in the comments down below. Nothing in the freezer. Not in the sink either. No clues under the table. No. no. Nothing here. Only dirty dishes. Yuck! Microwave looks empty to me. Has anybody checked the room service card yet? No, nope, but great idea! It's a toy! That's a good sign! Bubblies? Let me check this one. <gasps> Another toy! Let me look on the bottom of the cart now. Whoa! We all got bubblies! Let's open them. Maybe there's a clue inside. Whoa. Look how cute mine is. It's like a puppy on an ice cream cone. And did you see that there's supposed to be hidden charms inside? Maybe the hidden charms will lead us to the toy scientist. Here's the Eiffel Tower charm. I don't think she's in Paris, though. I found one, guys. They have no idea what it is. It looks like I have an ice cream cone. See? So maybe she's eating ice cream in Paris? That just doesn't seem right. There's gotta be another clue somewhere. Oh, I found a piece of pizza too. Maybe we should go back and look at the cart, guys. Yeah, we've always found clues with the toy. It has to be here somewhere. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Take to the inside of this. Yeah, let me read it for you, Maya. Good work, Maya. Boxes and boxes and bins and bins of open and unopened toys can be found here. Hurry before it's too late. 
Where are there tons of boxes and bins of toys? In the toy storage facility. The Toy Science keeps a giant collection of toys there. Well, we better move quickly then, guys. But we can't forget the toys, girls. Remember the Toy Master said to bring all the toys with us? Where's the treasure chest and bag of shimmies? Don't worry, I left them right outside the toy hotel. facility is right in here, but it's locked. And I don't see any fancy hand scanners here. Then how do we get in, guys? It's the Toy Master. You've gathered my toys. Put the bag down in the corner of the room. Walk away from it, and the door will unlock. You'll find the toy scientist inside. I'd move quickly if I were you. She's inside, guys. We've almost rescued her. But which corner is he in? One over there or over there? I don't know, but let's just try that one first. I think they are unlocked. Oh girls, I'm so excited you're here. As you can see, I'm in a bit of a sticky situation. I can see that. Yeah, my hands and feet are stuck in slime and I can't get out. How did this happen? Well, I was in here trying to put away some of my new toy inventions and the light suddenly went out. I couldn't see. I stepped in the slime and I, I just got stuck here. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, and then this voice came over a speaker. He said he was the toy master, and he said if I don't get out of the slime before the hourglass runs out, all the toys in here will be his. Wow, this is an emergency. We don't have much time left. You're right. Listen, could you guys unlace my shoes? That way I can at least get my feet out. Of course. My hands are stuck in this super strong slime. Can you guys grab a leg and pull? Of course! It's almost out! Pull, girls! Pull! Keep going! Ah! Keep going! Ah! Ah! I'm free! Oh, thank you! That was horrible! Wow, the timer ran out. I'm so glad we saved you and your toys. Me too, but who do you think this toy master is? idea. First we had mad scientist Jason to worry about and now we have this toy master. I don't know who he is but he must be an enemy of all of us toy lovers in the world. Well I don't like him one bit. I don't either but you know what let's forget about him for now and let's head back to the toy lab so we can give Avery a proper introduction to toy science. This way girls. Sounds like a plan to me toy scientist. All right girls. Oh. Where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? Got to be here somewhere. This is trickier than it. What are those? For Maya? Where did these come from? Crazy. These make you see everything in black and white. This is trippy. I still see things in black and white. This is not good. What happened to my eyes and who gave me these glasses? From the Toy Master. Oh no. So Maya, tell me what symptoms you are experiencing today. Well, I can only see black and white, no color. And it's all because of the Toy Master. The Toy Master? He completely wiped out all of the toys from the toy pharmacy last week. He did? So how would I get my toy for scripts and Phil? Will she have to see black and white forever? Well, luckily, as you can see, I have quite a large stockpile of toy medicine here in my toy doctor office. So I'm hoping to have exactly what you need. I sure hope so. 
All right, we'll tell you what, Maya. Let's just do a really quick exam and I'll see exactly how bad this situation is. I'm gonna start with the fingerlings eye test. Let's start with that. Okay, sounds good to me, doctor. Okay, Maya, I'm holding five fingerlings. Which one is purple? Uh, I don't know, I just don't know. Maybe this one or this one? This is worse than I thought, Toy Doctor. Okay, no need to panic yet. I have one more test I can do. All right, Maya, I have three Juju pets. Which one is yellow? Mm, uh, it's just so hard to tell. Just do your best, Maya. Um, okay, this one. Well, Maya, I'm afraid to tell you but it looks like you definitely have a case of Toy Master induced color blindness. I can't believe the Toy Master did this to you. We have to find him and he's gotta pay for this, Maya. I agree that the Toy Master has got to be captured, but the problem is no one even knows who this mysterious person is. Well, do you have any Toy Master I could use to see color again? Luckily, I do have something. There's this new game out called Spy Code Hackathon and it should do the trick. I happen to have one left on my toy medicine shelf. Hmm. Well, I know it was just here. Did the Toy Master strike again? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I've been in here all morning long. I'm sure I would have seen something or heard something if he came in here and took my hackathon game. I, it was right here. This is not good. And you said that the toy pharmacy doesn't have any medicine too? I'm afraid so. They're all out, thinks the Toy Master. Well, what is she gonna do? I have an idea. I'll write you a prescription for Spy Code Hackathon, and you can try taking it to your local Toys R Us store. Maybe they'll have one in stock. Unless the Toy Master already got to them too. Well, let me write the prescription, and you should probably get there as quickly as you can, girls. Yeah, good idea. Uh, what is this? First clue, E. This must be some clue from the Toy Master. But what do you think it means? Does it stand for something like elevator or elephant? I'm not sure, but why don't you take this with you to Toys R Us? You can think about it some more, okay girls? You better get there quick. And good luck. Oh, that Toy Master. Five, ten, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, I am officially open for business today. Hmm, I wonder who my first customer is going to be. Easter, Echo, Elephant, Electricity. Good morning and welcome to Toys R Us. Hi there, please tell me that you have a hackathon. Oh, you two happen to be in luck because I do. Just right over there on that top shelf. Oh, that's the best news I heard all day. Well, just wonderful. And why don't you take this shopping cart over there and just pile on a few other things too. Have fun shopping. Where is it? Where is it? Why don't you throw one of those fuzzy bubbles in your cart and the enchantables? Or oh, how about a neonate baby too? You want one of those, don't you? Excuse me, but where did you say the hackathon game was? Oh, just right there in the top shelf. Right. Wait a minute. Where did it go? Oh no, the toy master has been here too. The toy master? Who is that? Has there been a thief in my Toys R Us store? We're trying to figure out exactly who the toy master is. No one knows. He's been stealing toys from everyone, though. <gasps> Say it isn't so. I'm afraid so. We're on a mission to try and find him and try and catch him. Well, this Toy Master hasn't taken my money too, has he? <laughs> Wait, what is this? It's the letter R? It's another clue. Can we have that, please? Yeah, I guess so. Take the paper, just don't take my money. Okay, Maya. Maybe the Toy Master's spelling something for us. And if we decode this, maybe it'll lead us to the hackathon game. Or the Toy Master. Maybe so, but what can we spell with an E and R? I don't know. Ear, eraser. There's probably thousands of words with an E and an R in them. You're right. How are we ever done solve this, Addy? Excuse me, miss. Do you know any place that we can find a hackathon game? Well, I know the Toy School has a lot of toys. Why don't you try there? 
Pretty daddy. Let's go toy tree. I want to see color again. Good luck, girls. Bye. 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 Hmm. That toy master better not take any more of my toys. <laughs>
Well, I'm afraid there's an emergency. Oh no, it's not the Toy Master again, is it? I'm afraid it is. First you ask me glasses for my life, made her completely go colorblind. <gasps> Are you serious? Yes, yeah, so we've been trying to track down the right toy medicine for her. And we've been collecting a bunch of proof that we think might lead to him. Wow, I can't believe that no one has caught him yet. Well, what kind of toy medicine are you looking for? Maybe I can help. The hat is on me. Oh boy, you are in luck. I just made one up yesterday. Perfect. Well, I'm just glad I can help. Let me see. You know, I know that sounds crazy, but I thought it was just over here. Oh, it's not crazy. The same thing has been happening all day. The toy master stole it. But how did he get in here? I have been sitting in this stool by this lab bench working for hours, I mean all day long, and it was here this morning. I'm starting to think the toy master might be a ninja. That's probably why he gets in and out of places without getting caught. I bet you're right, Addy. This is all starting to make sense. Well, if the Toy Master is a ninja, it's going to be really hard to catch him. No kidding. So where are these clues you were talking about? Well, I see one right up there. These are them. They have to spell something. Well, let's kind of just rearrange them a bit and see if we can make up a word here. Um, maybe it ends in an E. Let's put the R at the front. Oh, yes. Let's see. No. Tic-Tac Toy Fans, do you know what these letters spell? Wait, I think I've got it, girls. C-R-E-E-K, Creek. Creek. Thanks, toy scientists, we gotta go. No problem, good luck, girls. I really hope you catch them. Okay, keep your eyes open then, your slime blasters ready to go. I wish we knew what we were looking for. At this point, I just just fire slime at anything suspicious. I think that was just a squirrel, Addy. Oops! Well, it was good practice. Toy, Toy master, master, where are, where are you? you? Hello, where are you, Toy Master? Toy Master! I really am missing color, Addy. I hope we found these toys. <gasps> What's that, Maya? It's a game! And look, there's like five hackathon games in here. They must be all the hackathon games the Toy Master stole. Well, I'm so glad we found the game so you can see color again, Maya. But I was really hoping the clues will lead us to the Toy Master. I know. This probably means we're going to have to deal with him again, though. Okay, well, let's get these home now so we can get your vision fixed. so early on a Saturday morning. Oh, this better be good. Uh, coming, coming. Hello? Hello? Good morning. This is the Toy Master. I'm a little bored, so we're going to play a game. What kind of game? An escape room game. I'm locking you both in your bedrooms. In order to get out, you'll have to each follow a unique set of clues that will lead you to an escape button. Press that button and your doors will unlock. How long will this take? We have a play date this afternoon. That depends on how quickly you solve the clues. Oh, and I'm gonna add something else to the mix to make this a bit more, well, fun for me. I'm afraid to ask, but what is it? For every five minutes that you'll be trapped inside your rooms, I will wipe out a popular toy from the shelves of every single toy store across the country. OMG, that's disastrous! It may be for you, and for the millions of children across the world, but I call this fun. I guess we have to work quickly then. Tell you what, 
I'm feeling extra nice today. If you get stuck on a clue, I'll give you one free phone call to Agent Lucy, your mother, for assistance. Use it wisely, because you only get one. Okay, how do we get started? Addie, you'll find your first clue in your Our Generation Awesome Academy. Maya, your first clue can be found in your stuffed animal bin. The clock is starting now. Good luck. Okay, Awesome Academy. This is it. I gotta find the clue quickly. What is the clue? Maybe it's inside this pencil case. I don't see anything unusual in here. This all looks pretty normal. I don't see any clues. Let me check this file. Nothing. Let's see what's inside Lily's desk. Looks like some science supplies, a crayon, nothing unusual. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be looking for and time is ticking. Let's see what's inside this desk. Paper, notebook, post-it notes. Nothing in there. Wait a minute. I didn't write anything in this notebook. What well, has a head and a tail but no body? What kind of clue is this? Okay, here's my stuffed animal bin. Mr. Skittles, are you the clue? Ariel, no. Spruffluff, no. I don't think it's a tramp. Is it Ellie? Hopefully I don't have to cut open one of my precious stuffed animals to find the clue. Huh? What are watercolors and a paper doing in here? I don't remember putting these in here. Could these be the clues? But what would they mean? What has a head, a tail, but no body? What has a head, a tail, but no body? Maybe snake? They have a head and tail. But do they have a body? I know I don't have any real snakes in my room. Do I have any toy snakes? Okay, I have a toy unicorn, a toy bird, even a toy puppy. Do I have any snakes? Here's a kitty and here's two turtles. Puppy, unicorn, but no snakes. What could that clue mean if it's not a snake? What has a head and a tail but no body? <gasps> Is that an incoming message on my tablet? Five minutes have passed and all Pick Me Pop surprise toys have been removed from the shelves of toy stores across the country. The timer has been reset. If you haven't escaped in five minutes, another popular toy will disappear. Oh no, this is devastating. I wonder if I should use my free phone call now, because I have no idea what this first clue means. Well, all I could think of to do is use this paint to paint the paper. Hopefully, that'll show me the clue. Is that what I'm saying under there? I better get this whole paper painted so I can get a better look. Whoa, there's definitely a message here. It's kind of hard to make out. Let me see if I can read it. Send my favorite princesses to the ball in the correct order. Princesses ball, what's this kind of clue? <sighs> Hello? Hi mom, I need your help. Me and I are both trapped in our rooms. And the toy master's making us play this horrible game in order to escape. I know, I know, he called me too. I'm locked inside my room until both of you escape from your rooms. Well, I need your help with a clue. What do you think this means? What has a head and a tail, but no body? A head and a tail, but no body. Huh, that's a tough one. I know, I thought it was a snake. But I don't have any snakes in my room that the clue could be leading me to. Hmm. -hmm. I got it, Addie. It's a coin. Every coin has two sides, heads and tails. You're right, and coins don't have bodies. 
Thanks, Mom. I have tons of coins in my room. No problem. Good luck with the rest of the clues, and I'll see you when you find that escape button. Thanks, Mom. See you later. Let me get my piggy bank. Okay, I have tons of coins in here. Maybe if I dump them out, I'll find a clue. Okay, there's a lot of coins. Anything unusual? Whoa, there are some coins in here that are all black. This has to mean something. Here's two more. Okay, I can tell these two coins are dimes, and this one's a nickel. It looks like they've been colored with a Sharpie or something. What could this mean? These coins are shiny, and these ones aren't. Hmm. Wait a minute, I know that a dime's worth 10 cents and a nickel's worth 5 cents. So two dimes plus one nickel equals 25 cents. I bet the number 25 is important, but what could it mean? Okay, these are the only princess that I have, and I bet the ball is the dance floor. So I don't know the order to send the princesses to the ball in. There's gotta be something here that tells me. I don't see anything in the castle. What about in the dolls? Oh, what's this? It says order. Perfect, this will work. One, this princess must be home by midnight. Oh, that's Cinderella. Okay, you're going to the ball, Cinderella. Cinderella's first. Number two, this princess won't want to leave Pastel behind. That must be Rapunzel. Pastel's her lizard friend. Go on to the ball, Rapunzel. Two down. Three, this princess hopes to get her voice back soon. My favorite princess, Ariel. Go on down. On to the fourth princess. Four. This princess had to travel all the way from New Orleans. That's Tiana. This way, Tiana. Four down. Time for number five. This princess can decorate the castle with ice sculptures. Elsa, she's one of my second favorite. Here we go, Elsa. This way, Elsa. Okay, I slided them all down to the ball. Now what? Hmm, is there another clue? Oh no, it's my tablet with another message. Has another five minutes already passed? Another five minutes have passed and all Hatchimals have been removed from the shelves of the toy stores across the country. The timer has been reset. If you haven't escaped in five minutes, Another popular toy will disappear. Oh no, this is so, so bad. These flashcards add up to 25, but I don't see any type of clue on them. Maybe I'm not supposed to look for the number 25 after all. Maybe I have 25 of a certain toy. Could that be what I'm looking for? Let me go see. Here are my toy collections. If I have 25 of any one toy, it's gotta be these. Hmm, I have a lot of LOLs, but I don't think this is quite 25. Shopkins? No, this is way too many. I bet this is more like 100 Shopkins. Maybe I have 25 Pikmis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. That's it, I have 25 pygmies. But is this what I'm looking for? What's the next clue supposed to be? I don't see anything. Maybe it's in the bin? <gasps> A note! Don't forget to read between the lines. What lines? What does this mean? I put all the princesses in order, but now I don't see a clue. I think it's time to use my phone call. Hello? Hi, 
Hi, Mommy. You won't believe what's going on. Oh, I already know, hun. I'm sorry. I've already helped Addy with a clue. Do you need help, too? Yeah, I had to line up my princesses in a certain order to get the next clue. And I did, but nothing's happening. Okay. Well, how did you know what order to line them up in? There were a bunch of clues about the princesses, and they told me the order to put them in. Well, if you line them up correctly, could a clue just have popped out somewhere? Like maybe a dresser drawer popped open, or a clue fell from the ceiling, or something like that? No, nothing has popped up in my room. I would have noticed something like that. Okay, well, tell me what order you put the princesses in. First it was Cinderella, Rapunzel, Ariel, Tiana, and then Elsa. Okay, so let's see. What about the dress colors? Do they form a pattern or something? No, it doesn't look like to me. It's blue, purple, teal, green, teal. The order of the princesses has to mean something. Cinderella, Rapunzel, Ariel, Tiana, Elsa. Doesn't ring a bell. Wait a minute. I think I'm on to something. Good. What is it? When the princesses are in that particular order, you can take the first letter of each of their names, and it spells C-R-A-T-E, Crete. Does that mean anything to you? It sure does. Thanks, Mommy. Gotta go. Don't forget to read between the lines. What lines? <gasps> Let me get my black light. Here it is. There could be something to read between these lines, but I just can't see them. Maybe my black light will reveal something. <gasps> I'm something that gets inflated, but I am not a tire. And when I'm filled with helium, let go and I float higher. I knew there was a clue here. I'm something that gets inflated, but I'm not a tire. And when I'm filled with helium, let go and I float higher. Well, I can only think of one thing that I fill with helium to make it float. It must be a balloon. I know I have some of them somewhere in here. <gasps> there they are. It feels like something's inside of them. There it is, but I can't get it out. Maybe if I blow the balloons up and pop them, then I can see what's inside of them. Is this my next clue? What is all this? A stale Mickey Mouse enchantable. This is like so odd. This looks definitely like a scale. But what does three ounces mean? I'm just so confused. Oh no, not another message. It's been another five minutes already? Another five minutes have passed, and all little live pets have been removed from the shelves of toy stores across the country. The timer has been reset. If you haven't escaped in five minutes, another popular toy will disappear. It's a tragedy. I got to move quicker. Another toy can't disappear. Okay, got a scale, a bunch of toys, and a number. What do I do with that? Maybe one of these toys weighs three ounces. Maybe that's our glue. Marshall lets you you weigh point eight ounces. Let's try something bigger then. Five point. Four ounces? That's too big. How about Mickey? 2.3 is too small. I don't think any of these toys weigh three ounces. Maybe I have to put a few toys together to make it weigh three ounces. Let me try these two. 2.5? Nope. How about the enchantable on this puppy? 2.5 again. Maybe I'll try out the Paw Patrol characters. Rubble, Marsher, and Sky. Sky, Rubble, three ounces! I did it! These three Paw Patrol characters worked! But what does that mean now? Okay, time to start popping these. This 
This must be the clue. Letter E. Better say that. Another E. A and C. C, I, R, and M. These letters have to spell something. My. No. Uh. What could this be? What could this be? Ice. Ice what? Cream. That's it. Ice cream. And I'm in the ice cream cart in my room. Okay, clue, clue. It's got to be over here. Popsicles. I don't think this means anything. Let me check this side. Ice cream sandwiches. Nothing unusual about these, though. Wait a minute. <gasps> What's this? I found it. This is the escape button. I need to get out of here fast. I made it. I made it. Okay, Rubble, Marshall, and Sky. Do you know what this clue means? Maya, I just escaped. How are you doing in there? I'm stuck in here, Addy, and I want to get out of this before another five minutes passes. What's your clue? Maybe I can help. I have a sty, a rubble, and a marshal, and I don't know what they mean. You know, they're Paw Patrol. Okay, well, do you have any more Paw Patrol toys in your room that I could be leading you to? Addy, I do. I have a Paw Patrol cruiser somewhere. Find it quickly, then. I bet your next clue's in it. Here it is. No clue here. <laughs> Maybe in the back. Ooh, let me push this button. <laughs> the escape button. I found it, Addy. Maya, we made it. We escaped. I've never been so glad to see you. I know. Come on, let's go get Mom. You may have escaped, but I still won. Parents and kids around the country won't be able to find Pick Me Pop surprises, Hatchimals, or Little Live Pets. So sad. <laughs> Tick -tick -tick. Why does Sandy keep going in your closet and barking? I have no idea. She's been doing that all week long, and it's super annoying. I bet. <coughs> She'll even go in there and start barking in the middle of the night. Knock it off, Sandy. Hey, girls. I just got to go with my boss at the CTIA, and we had a major breakthrough with our Toy Master case. No kidding. What's going on? Well, we have reason to believe that the Toy Master has been camped out in this very city for about a week now. And we think some of our intelligence agents have been able to uncover and decode the Toy Master's cell phone number. No way! That's pretty big, isn't it? Sure is. Chances are the Toy Master probably carries the cell phone around with him. And so if we can trace the location of his cell phone, then we can probably pinpoint the Toy Master's exact location. Wow! How do we do that? Well, that's our mission for today. Hush, Sandy. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to call this number, which we think belongs to the Toy Master. We need to keep him on the phone for at least one minute. If we can do that, it should give me just enough time to track his location using my computer. Well, let's name him a call then. Well, it's not that simple because we probably only really have one chance. Really? Yeah, if the Toy Master realizes it's us on the line, he'll probably hang up because he's smart and he'll realize that we're trying to trace his phone number. Is that why you brought that voice changer with you? Precisely. I'm going to have you call the Toy Master, but you'll need to use this to alter your voice when you're on the phone with him. Okay, but what should I say? I put a lot of thought into that. I think you should call him and tell him that his phone number was randomly selected to be the winner of a giant toy prize. Great idea. I'll stay on the line for that. That's what I'm thinking. All right, I should just tell him all about the toys he's winning, and that should keep him on the line for a minute. Perfect. Now we just need to figure out the right voice to use. Congratulations. <laughs> too much like a robot. Try another one. Congratulations. No way. Too squeaky. Congratulations. You're a winner. That's the one. That's it. Perfect. Okay, let me get my computer set up, and then we'll get going. Okay, I'm ready. 
This is gonna be exciting. Okay, I think I'm just about ready. Here's the phone number, Addy, and you can go ahead and call everybody quiet. Go ahead and dial Addy. Here goes nothing. Okay, connected on my end. See if you can't bark now. I didn't know what to do, so I hung up. It's okay, let me get Cindy downstairs and we'll try this again. Sandy, what are you doing in here? You're gonna ruin our mission. Come on, come on, out this way. Okay, all is set, Addy, go ahead, try it again. Have the voice changer ready. What's your guys' name, little kitty patooties? Shh, no one's answering. Okay, just give it a minute longer. Guys, I think I hear something. Like what? Like a phone ringing. Hang up, Addy. The ringing just stopped. Does that mean the Toy Master's in our house? I'm not sure. I don't know what that means. It sounded like it may have been coming from my closet. Maybe that's why Sandy's been barking in Maya's closet for like a week. I don't know, but I'm going to go investigate, girls. You guys stay right here. Be careful, Mommy. Okay, nobody's in here, but where is that phone? This is kind of scary, Maya. You're scared? I'm the one who was sleeping all night with the Toy Master on the other side of my wall. Yeah, that is pretty scary. Hey, Addy, call that number again real quickly. Okay, just a second. You can hang up now, Addy. Did you see her hear anything, Mommy? I did. You know how you have that little crawl space door inside your closet, Maya? Yeah. The ring's coming from in there. That's super creepy. And now I know why Sandy's been acting weird. But we never opened that door, have we? No, we really haven't even had a reason to. I mean, we have plenty of storage in the basement, and we haven't needed to store anything in there. Well, if the Toy Master's phone is ringing from inside there, then the Toy Master has clearly been inside our own house. That's just beyond creepy. But if he's not answering, he must not be in there, right? Maybe he's gone, but he just left his phone in there. That's a possibility. Or he's just choosing not to answer his phone because he wants us to hear it and open the door for some reason. Wow, what do we do, Mom? Well, we're toy spies. We have to be brave when others aren't. It's time to investigate further. You mean we're going in? Well, we need to gather some supplies first. But yes, I'm going to go in. Well, we're in this with you, Mom. We wanted to be junior toy spies after all. Yeah, we knew it wouldn't always be easy. Okay, girls, we need to make sure we are prepared for whatever we could encounter. What do we need? Well, I think first we'll start out with a motion detector. This can help us determine if there's any motion on the other side of the door before we attempt to open it. Good idea. If there isn't any motion, then we'll know that the Toy Master's not in there. That means he probably just left his phone there. Exactly. And I'm thinking we should probably grab some of these night vision goggles. Since we haven't been into the crawl space before, I'm not sure what to expect in terms of lighting. It could be pretty dark in there. How do I look? Like a spire for sure. And I'll need this drill to unscrew that door from the wall. But if the door's been screwed to the wall, how's the Toy Master been getting in there? You know, I really have no idea. Maybe there's another entrance somewhere. I guess we'll have to find out. Should we take that camera with us too? Absolutely, Maya. We'll want to make sure we document whatever we find. Well, what if the Toy Master's actually inside there? What do we do? 
Well, if our motion detector picks up motion, indicating that he's probably in there, I think we should call the CTIA for our reinforcements before we even open the door. Good idea. I feel much better about that. Okay, girls, are you ready for this? As ready as we'll ever be. All right, let's go then. Grab the flashlight, too. All right, get this motion detector all set up. Aim it towards the crawl space door. Just do it. All right, Toy Master, if you're in there, we're gonna know now. Is the phone ringing again? All right, I've got five seconds to get out of here now. Do you think we'll really find and capture the Toy Master today, Maya? I don't know, it's a little scary to think about it, right, Addy? Yeah, but at least we have be done. The Toy Master can go behind bars and life will go back to normal. That's true. Hey, girls, did you try dialing that phone number again, the Toy Master's phone number? No, why? Well, when I was setting up the motion detector, I could hear it ring again. I don't know who else is trying to get a hold of him. Maybe the TMA? Well, hopefully we'll know soon. I have the motion detector all set up, and if we don't hear it go off for the next five minutes, I say we go in. I bet there's some valuable information we can get inside there. Okay, I'll go set a five-minute timer for us. Perfect. Oh, perfect, Maya. Now we have five minutes. Five minutes! Oh my goodness, that's the motion detector! That's it! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, what do we do? Quick, grab the camera. Come on, let's go. My goodness, dog, you sure know how to scare us. We thought you were the toy master. All right, I'm gonna take her downstairs. You girls keep an eye on that timer because we're going in in five minutes. Come on, Sammy, come on, come on. Okay, girls, it's time to go. Let's, Let's do this. She's almost got it, Maya. There's the cell phone right there. All right, I'm gonna grab the phone. Be careful. I'm gonna have the camera too. It looks like it swerves around here. I'm gonna take a peek. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, someone's back there. There's movement. I may have gotten on camera. <gasps> what was that noise? I think it came from the hallway. Wait, go, 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 quick, quick, quick. Those definitely weren't down a few minutes ago. Okay, so the crawl space must connect to the attic space and the Toy Master must have come down and escaped this way. That loud bang we heard must have been these stairs hitting the floor. And look, the front door is open, which means he's gone. He may be gone, but we have his phone. And I hear it ringing. Quick, let's go girls, come on. Hello? Hello, is this Agent Lucy? Yes, it is. Who's speaking? This is your boss, from the CTIA. Why are you answering the Toy Master's phone? Oh, you won't believe this, but we believe the Toy Master has been hiding inside my house. The crawl space and the attic space, his phone was in there. So are you telling me that the Toy Master's phone was in your house? Yeah, I know that sounds strange, sir, but we're just as surprised as you are. But you have not apprehended the Toy Master? Well, he just got away. Do you realize how suspicious this sounds, Agent Lucy? You are answering the Toy Master's phone, which we now have traced to your house. But you have not captured him? Yes, sir, I understand that, sir. However, if you if you allow me the chance to explain, it, it's really quite simple. Mm -hmm, Agent Lucy, or shall I call you the Toy Master? No, of course not. You don't really think that, do you? Boss? Hello? I think we might be in a very bad position, girls. What do you mean? Yeah, how so? The CTIA thinks I'm the Toy Master. This is our All About Me Tic Tac Toy Book by Addie and Maya.
yeah. We have designed this Tic Tac Toy All About Me book to be an interactive book for you at home to learn about us, to learn about Addie and Maya, and to fill out all sorts of fun information about you in the process. So parents, if you are wondering where you can get our All About Me book, then you can go to Amazon to purchase this book.